Hello everybody, my name is Silip and welcome to Tesseract. This is a first person adventure puzzle game and that's really all I know about it. I decided to uh, go into this one blind and see what it has to offer, so let's experience it together. By the way, this is just a demo. The full game, I'm not sure if it actually has a release date yet, but you'll be able to find out about it on the link in the description. So we are dropped down into this strange looking world. Okay, I'm actually not in control right now. What the fuck? Whoa. Okay. This definitely looks interesting. Okay, wow. The environment looks pretty interesting. Alright, we can pick up boxes. Looks good. Guess we're going this way. This kind of reminds me of uh, Portal a little bit. Don't know if that's going to stay that way, but it certainly seems similar. How do I, uh... Huh. I didn't, I don't think I read the thing very well. Oh, there we go. That's gonna freeze it in midair, huh? Oh god. Okay. Don't get hit by the beam. Use blue beams to stop an object's physics. Okay, interesting. Oh, whoa. Alright. Like I said, it is still a demo, so there's still some kinks probably to be worked out here. Try not to uh, run into that beam again. Whoa, blue beam's not even hitting it. Look at that window up there. That looks cool. Apparently, we're like underwater or something. Alright, there we go. Okay, we're just gonna keep climbing higher and higher. so we can throw with the right click. That works a little better. Oh, and that's gonna mess up those physics there. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's, uh... There we go. Hey! Why did you do that? No. There. You stay there. Why are you not staying there? There. And, uh, can't jump that high, so... Uh-oh. Well, this is not going as smoothly as I would have liked. There we go. Alright, cool. Wow. Okay, uh, well, crap, that failed. I think we're gonna have to go grab that cube, unfortunately. Let's try not to, oh, oh, I jumped into the other beam. Well, that kind of sucks, oh well. Let's just, uh, plop that there. Plop that up there. Alright, that's working out a lot better this time. Oh, what's going on? I keep getting stuck inside that cube. Gotta make sure to throw it a little bit ahead. Ah, oh, I can't quite jump high enough. Alright, there we go. So let's, uh, try this here. Let's 
let's put this down right here. There we go. Alright, this one's going to be probably a little harder. Let's put this here. I guess. That's too high. There we go. Cool. That one actually wasn't too bad. Um, do I want to grab this now if I can? I don't know if I can make that jump. Oh, I can. Cool. Okay. We're almost there. It would really suck if I threw this over the edge on accident right now. Okay, cool. Let's grab this. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Land on the far one. Alright, go for it. Oh, that was close. Alright, cool. We made it. Oh, I thought that was going to be the end. This looks interesting. What is this? Catalyst device gives the user access to the physical properties of certain targets. That's a pretty waterfall. Now things are getting interesting. This includes water surfaces. Use left mouse button to fire. Okay. Interesting. So as long as I fire, I can walk. I guess. Okay. walk up water too. Interesting. Oh shoot. Alright. That's cool. Can I use it on anything else? Guess not. Oh wow. Water being affected by the catalyst creates a lack of friction. Okay, it also allows us to go super fast. Just so while simultaneously generating an attractive force, it allows you to start significantly faster. So I'm gonna have to run and jump to there. Oh jeez. Okay. Jump! There we go. This is interesting. It's Reminiscent of Portal, but it's definitely got its own unique stuff going on. There's some unique ideas being explored here. Alright, let's, uh, why are we not going fast? I only go fast running that way? Oh, there we go. Ouch. Oh, I get it. These are holding the cubes up. Because that makes it defy physics. Okay, that's cool. Alright. Awesome. Oh, whoa. I'm outside. Very cool. that is Tesseract and that's not a bad demo I thought it was pretty interesting here's their contact information these links will also be in the description for you guys 
But let me know what you guys think. I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, again, I don't know when that's coming out, but you can find out by visiting their website. And I kind of enjoyed that. I think there's definitely some unique ideas and some potential for some unique puzzles with this system that they have going on. So it'll be interesting to see how they follow through with development. As always, my name is Celeb, and thank you for watching.